Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk about one of the most exciting and controversial topics in the field of neuroscience. So, what is Neuralink, and how does it work? Neuralink is a company that was founded by Elon Musk in 2016, with the aim of developing a high-bandwidth, low-latency, biocompatible, and scalable brain-computer interface. A brain-computer interface, or BCI, is a device that can record and stimulate the electrical activity of the brain and translate it into commands for computers or other devices. For example, a BCI could allow you to type on a keyboard, play a video game, or control a prosthetic limb just by thinking about it. Sounds amazing, right? But how is this possible? Well, the brain is composed of billions of cells called neurons, which communicate with each other through electrical and chemical signals. These signals form patterns that encode information, such as sensory inputs, memories, emotions, and intentions. By recording these patterns, a BCI can decode what the brain is perceiving, remembering, feeling, or planning. And by stimulating these patterns, a BCI can also influence what the brain experiences, learns, or does. This way, a BCI can create a bidirectional link between the brain and the external world, bypassing the limitations of the body and the senses. But how can a BCI access the brain? Well, there are two main types of BCIs, invasive and non-invasive. Non-invasive BCIs are devices that can record or stimulate the brain from outside the skull, using techniques such as electroencephalography (EEG), transcranial magnetic stimulation (TMS), or functional near-infrared spectroscopy (FNRS). These techniques are relatively safe, easy to use, and affordable, but they also have some drawbacks. They have low spatial resolution, meaning they cannot distinguish between individual neurons or small groups of neurons. They also have low temporal resolution, meaning they cannot capture the fast changes in brain activity. And they are susceptible to noise and interference from the environment, the scalp, or the skull. These limitations make non-invasive BCIs less accurate, reliable, and efficient than invasive BCIs. Invasive BCIs are devices that can record or stimulate the brain from inside the skull, using techniques such as microelectrode arrays, optogenetics, or ultrasound. They have high spatial resolution, meaning they can target specific neurons or brain regions. They also have high temporal resolution, meaning they can track the rapid fluctuations in brain activity. And they are less affected by noise and interference from the outside. These features make invasive BCIs more precise, robust, and powerful than non-invasive BCIs. Neuralink is developing an invasive BCI, based on a technology called the Neuralink Link. The Link is a coin-sized device that contains a custom-designed chip, a battery, a wireless transmitter, and more than a thousand electrodes. The electrodes are connected to ultra-thin and flexible threads, which are thinner than a human hair, and can be inserted into the brain tissue with minimal damage. The threads can record and stimulate the activity of thousands of neurons simultaneously across different brain regions and layers. The chip can process and compress the data and transmit it wirelessly to a smartphone app or another device. The battery can be charged wirelessly, and the device can be implanted under the scalp, making it invisible and comfortable. The link is designed to be safe, biocompatible, and scalable, meaning it can be used for multiple applications and can be upgraded or removed as needed. Neuralink claims that the link can enable a variety of functions, such as restoring vision, hearing, or movement, enhancing memory, learning, or creativity, or even merging with artificial intelligence. Neuralink also claims that the link can be implanted in humans with a simple and painless procedure performed by a robotic surgeon in less than an hour without general anesthesia, and that it can be used to control computer cursors, video games, or prosthetic limbs just by thinking. The company has also shown that its device can be implanted and removed safely, and that it can last for months or years without causing infections, inflammation, or rejection. And now, Neuralink has announced that it has successfully implanted its first chip in a human brain. The announcement was made by Elon Musk himself on his social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter. Musk said that the first human received the implant on Sunday, January 28, 2024, and that the initial results show promising neuron spike detection, meaning that the device can pick up the signals from the brain cells. This is a huge milestone for Neuralink and for the field of brain-computer interfaces. It is the first time that a wireless, high-bandwidth, and scalable BCI has been implanted in a human brain, and it opens the door for a new era of human-machine interaction. 
but it also raises a lot of questions and challenges, both scientific and ethical. How well will the device work in humans? How long will it last? How will it affect the brain function and structure? How will it interact with other devices or networks? How will it be regulated and controlled? How will it impact the privacy, security, and identity of the users? How will it change the society, culture, and values of the humanity? These are some of the questions that need to be answered before Neuralink can achieve its ultimate vision of creating a symbiosis between humans and artificial intelligence. So, what do you think about Neuralink's first human brain chip implant? Do you think it is a breakthrough or a risk? Would you like to have a Neuralink chip in your brain or not? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.